Hi, I'm here today with Aaron Drummond of the Chuma Gullah Gallery, and we're here at the Charleston City Market where we have over 20 vendors and once again we're going to learn a little bit more about one more of the local vendors here. So Aaron, can you tell us a little bit about your gallery and some of the art that you're displaying and the artists that you represent? Absolutely. Uh, well first of all I'll, I'll refer to our name, Chuma Gullah Gallery. Uh, we specialize in Gullah artwork, well, which really speaks to a lot of the African-American um, individuals along the coast of South Carolina that have been able to maintain a lot of their West African heritage. Uh, this culture is unique to the low country. It does stretch up the coast some towards Wilmington, some towards Jacksonville, but primarily here in Charleston, Savannah, Hilton Head, Buford is where you're going to find the largest concentration of Gullah culture and history. As I said before, Aaron, you mentioned that you do represent more than, well, several artists. And one of the artists that we're looking at right here is the artist John Jones. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we have been working with John Jones for more than 20 years now. Uh, we started off uh, really with a collection called The Color of Money that gave him a lot of exposure uh, here in South Carolina and really nationwide. But what we're concentrating on now is his Gullah series that he's been working on for the past three or four years. And John likes to incorporate the element of sweet grass in most of his paintings. Uh, he uses it as a symbol, really, to show that as the sweet grass disappear, disappears, so does the Gullah culture. Aaron? The other artist that you represent here is Jonathan Green, and I think a lot of people are familiar with his work, but you're much more familiar, and maybe you'd like to tell us some more about what um, media he works in and something more about the paintings and lithographs that we see. Absolutely. Well, I'll start by telling you a little about, a little about Mr. Green's background. He grew up in the Gardens Corner area of South Carolina, which is near Buford, about an hour south of Charleston. Uh, Mr. Green grew up within the Gullah culture and is really the first person of true Gullah descent to get a formal training and start painting about this unique upbringing here on the coast. Um, once Mr. Green finished his formal training, he started painting about really um, all of the memories he had as a child. So that's why a lot of the paintings are going to be so brightly colored with the primary colors that, um, that you would imagine that a child would use. You have a lot of Jonathan Green's work here. As far as the different types and sizes, perhaps you can let us know and let others know what, a, what all is available at Chuma Gullah Gallery. Sure. Well, Jonathan Green makes his artwork uh, accessible to everyone. Uh, for those that love to collect original paintings, um, we have something for them to choose from. Um, for example, um, Jonathan Green has started doing acrylic on paper paintings. Um, these two paintings here that he produced back in 2010 are great, great works of art. They really show examples um, of the bright colors that he uses as well as new techniques that he's started to use here lately as well. Um, those are original, like I said earlier. Mr. Green also does something called a signed and numbered hand-drawn lithograph. Mm. The signed and numbered lithographs uh, are really normally done in small edition sizes, and that enables the investor or the person that purchases the artwork to enjoy an appreciation because there aren't multiple, um, multiple printings done of these. Um, and also, the fact that Mr. Green does open edition prints, like these here, um, it, it enables uh, everyone on every level to enjoy his artwork, because these are very affordable prints um, that also um, really you know, give folks uh, an opportunity to, to, um, to enjoy his work. Well, mm -hmm. it's important that Art's an important part of everyone's life, and um, certainly the more affordable we can make it, 
the more people can enjoy it. Well, we're here at the Charleston City Market, Aaron, but I know that there is another location that you also have where the art of Jonathan Green and others can be found too. That is correct. Yeah, we, uh, we have actually uh, worked with Jonathan Green for more than 20 years now uh, at our primary location, which is at 43 John Street near the Visitor Center, and it's also in downtown Charleston as well. What are the hours there? We are there from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's Monday through Saturday. And of course, we're here at the Great Hall at the City Market from 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. And that's seven days a week. 